When the bell is off, a flashing answer key and the carrot per watt indicator on the display are the only indications that calls are waiting to be answered. Follow the prompts to turn the bell on. Press the function key. Press the FO key. Press the F1 key to exit. You have successfully turned the bell on. The console can display call handling information and soft key prompts in English, French or Spanish. Other languages may be available depending on system programming. Press the function key. Press the F2 key. Press F3. Press F3. You have successfully changed the display language. Programming firm keys. You can program the two unlabeled firm keys to access optional feature packages. Follow the instructions to see the available options. Incoming calls that normally ring the console during the day can ring another answering point at night. Your system may have one or two night service modes called Night 1 and Night 2. The mode you should select depends on system programming. Any attendant can switch the system into night or day service. When the system is in night service, the night status indicator Night 1 or Night 2 displays on all consoles. Follow the prompts to switch the console into Night 1 service. When there are two or more consoles connected to the system, you can change the attendance status for your console to absent, when you plan to be away from your console. Follow the prompts to change the attendance status. To place a call. 1. Dial the destination number using the dial pad keys. 2. After completing the call, press release to disconnect it from the console. Follow the prompts to place a call. Answer calls. When an incoming call arrives at your 5540 IP console you hear ringing if you have the bell turned on. The light above the answer key flashes, and text indicating the type of call appears on one of the soft keys. You have two options to answer incoming calls. Do call indication. When you are engaged in a call, a single burst of ringing signals the next incoming call. Subsequent calls do not ring the console even with the new call ring turned on. The only way to tell that calls are waiting is by the carat per watt indicator on the console display. ABC Company, may I help you? Can I have extension 3301 please?
When a caller requests to speak to someone, ask the caller to wait a moment, and then transfer the call to the requested destination. ABC Company, may I help you? May I speak to Lori Orlando, please? One moment, please. ABC Company, may I help you? May I speak to Lori Orlando, please? One moment, please. Hold. You can place up to three calls on hold using the hold 1, hold 2, or hold 3 keys. If you need to place more than three calls on hold, use the hold 4 plus key in combination with the soft keys. You are currently on a call. Follow the prompts to place a call on hold. When you are setting up a call between two parties, you may want to conference the call speak with both parties at the same. Once you establish the conference, you can speak privately to either party by splitting the conference. Follow the prompts to conference the call. Answering recalls, when you transfer an external caller to an idle or busy station and the call is not answered within a specified timeout period it recalls at the console, if the call is not directed to voicemail. A parked call may also recall, at the console. Three types of paging are available from the console. 1. Extension paging using the set page key. 2. Public address PA or loudspeaker paging using the page key. 3. Park and page using the Qual Park soft key and one of the page keys. Click continue to learn more.
Displaying the console identity, the system your console is connected to is identified by a software release and version number, and the console is identified by an extension number and an attendant hold identity. Follow the prompts to display the console extension number in the system software version. Press the function key. Press F8. Use your mouse pointer to learn more about the information contained in the console identity. Alarms. When you see an alarm indication on the display it means a fault in the telephone system has occurred. You can use the function key to get more information about the alarm. You can set up and cancel call forwarding on individual extensions from the console. Follow the prompts to set up call forwarding on an individual extension.